the room feels up. So welcome everybody uh, uh, to the next NSCAC Behind the Bench uh, webinar. This one is about uh, where sports meet science. So it's about, uh, it's, it's, it's about me and uh, you know, I'll be the guest here. My name is Richard Pucciarelli. I am the, uh, the Director of Sports Science with the uh, National Soccer Coaches Association of Canada. And uh, of course, Tony LaFerrara, our Technical Director, uh, you know, he'll, be, uh, he'll be leading this. And, and so we'll be having a conversation for one hour uh, thank you so much for everyone who, who has registered. For those of you that are that are coming in, I can still see the the, the room getting bigger and bigger. Uh, just want to remind everybody a couple of things before we start. Number one, please, uh, you know, we want your feedback now, live, right? So uh, you can use the chat function uh, if you'd like to, to uh, let us know something or ask a question. And there's also a Q and A question and answer uh, function that you can use if you have a specific question for me or, or for Tony. Uh, go ahead and do that. And uh, with that out of the way, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and get started uh, with, uh, with Tony. Thank you. Thank you very much, Richard, and uh, um, welcome, everyone. Um, if you have any questions, um, you know, you can type them in, and uh, either myself or Richard will pick them up, and, uh, and hopefully they're not too difficult for Richard to answer, because I won't be able to answer any of them. Uh, Richard, thank you for doing this. You know, I've been wanting to do this personally. I've been wanting to do this with you for uh, for a long, long time and pick your brain, your your professional brain, because uh, you know you you have become uh, one of the top uh, fitness um, coaches, I guess in 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 Canada and perhaps even wider than that. So we're very lucky. We're very lucky and very uh, honored to have you here. And I just wanted to say that and get it out of the way. It's important. Before we get started, yeah. go ahead. Oh, I'll go just ahead. say, yeah, I'll, ju I'll just say, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm working hard, and uh, you know, it's nice to get recognition, and uh, you know, but uh, there's, there's a, there's a, if I am doing anything good here, it's, I'm, I'm standing on the, on the shoulders of, of giants, and maybe, maybe I'll get to well, mention, you know, yeah, including, including yeah, you, yeah, Tony. You Maybe people don't know, but I, I, I played on, on the North York Astros 20 years ago exactly. I, I was there. Uh, Tony was the head coach, and, and, and I only got a trial permit. I sat on the bench mostly, but, but that's how I met Tony, actually. So, <laughs> so I'm on the shoulders of giants. <laughs> it was a long time in terms of my... Uh... Can you still hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little choppy, but we're okay. Okay, good. Good, good. So, you know, one thing I want to ask you quickly. Um, you know, I, I hear coaches talking sometimes and they talk about, they refer to professional like yourself on the soccer team as the fitness guy. Or the fitness guy is this guy care of that. So what is the proper, um, you know, their fitness, their, the player's fitness? So, uh, I mean, my typically my role, like in the higher levels that I've worked in, and, and maybe the best title would be fitness coach. I think that kind of encompasses right. both roles because really, uh, you know, a lot of, of course, what I do is as a sports scientist and that, you know, I mean, I, I studied that in school. I'm still studying. I'm getting ready to finish my PhD. So, you know, I am a scientist and, and of course, you know, sports science uh, encompasses a lot of things when you work in soccer. It can be fitness testing, training, you know, planning and monitoring training. I know we, you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to touch on a lot of those topics. But I, I also, you know, right, we but, will. Yeah, the, the, the term fitness coach, I think, is also important because it has the word coach in it. And I am a coach. That's actually how I started working in soccer was as a coach. And I know for sure that any you know, fitness coach, sports scientist, whoever it is that wants to work in soccer, especially at the higher levels, it's really, really valuable. I, it's been so valuable for me to have done a lot of coach education, to have taken my licenses and, 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 and I continue to do so as well, because that helps you to really understand what's going on with the head coach and the assistant coach and, and, and the team that you're working with. So if you come into, you know, working as a fitness coach or sports scientist in soccer, especially at the higher levels, but you don't have the knowledge of coaching, of the strategy and tactics of the game, and everything else. I think it limits. Oh, you the game people. itself, even the game itself. Yeah. 
yeah, it makes it, it makes it, it makes it a lot more difficult. But Richard, let's see, um, about a hundred years ago, I always say that. Um, what I, you know, one of the courses that I had to take was a level three. Um, that I had to take. So we learned about the fitness that goes into uh, into software. The fitness that we try to develop, you know, in a saga player, the aerobic system, the anaerobic, lactic, lactic, all things, right? And uh, we didn't have all of the now to measure um, to develop them. Um, so we, you know, we've gone a long way, I guess, from from when I started. I'm not that you know, but I didn't start. You know, I started about 40 years ago, 45 years ago coaching. So we have gone a long, long way from when I started coaching, you know, to where we are now. And and we learned about the different energy systems back then. So just to so we can start on the right track. You know, what are the main energy systems that we're trying to develop in a soccer player? Okay, so it's a good question. And I know uh, I, maybe a couple of uh, messages in the chat, uh, Tony, I, I know your internet connection is not great. So if, if we continue to have, we'll see if we can sort it up, but if not, maybe we'll, we'll try to get you on, on speaker on, on, on my cell phone or something, we'll, we'll figure okay. something out. So, but the question was about the different energy systems in, in soccer. And so more or less, I mean, this is not unique to soccer, but but uh, it's certainly uh, it, it's 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 relevant to soccer, which is that there are three energy systems in the body. Okay, so you've got the aerobic system, and then the anaerobic system, which is broken up into two separate systems. So I'm going to talk about the aerobic system first. Uh, the aerobic system, essentially, uh, if I had to really simplify the explanation, I would say that you use oxygen in order to produce energy. So when you're exercising aerobically, you're using oxygen in order to produce energy. Now, how that looks in soccer is different than how that looks in some other sports. Soccer is an intermittent sport, meaning there are periods of time where you have to sprint or run very fast, and then there are periods of time where you rest. So the energy from the aerobic system comes primarily, or is used primarily during the rest periods in between the times where you're running really fast. A soccer player that has a good aerobic system can recover better in between one sprint and the next. And those players, of course, are going to get less tired throughout the course of a game, and they're gonna be able to do more fast running throughout the course of a game. Right. So Thank you for watching this short preview video from the National Soccer Coaches Association of Canada. To see the full video, plus have access to hundreds of other coaching videos, blogs, webinars and podcasts, plus free and discounted coach education courses and other soccer merchandise, plus to have exclusive access to register for all future NSCAC conventions, both live and online, click on the link below to become a member of the NSCAC today. Also, please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as your continued support allows us to continue to provide coach education and coach development resources to soccer coaches across Canada and worldwide. Thank you again for your continued support and we look forward to seeing you at future NSCAC events.